comes in struggling this season. Yeah, I mean, they've only won one game in March. They're 7-15 and 15 overall, and you go back to what they had last year. They lost so many players to graduation. A lot of young guys on this team, but really got a key in on, on White Harrison, a big West all-freshman guy a year ago, so the offense is going to run through him, and you know, you, you see it's a cliche, but you really can't overlook a, a matchup like this because this team is ever-growing with the experience they get from their underclassmen. Long Beach State and talking with them earlier in the week, there is no talk of looking past this team, that's for sure. Kevin Ring, the head coach in his 14th season, definitely knows how to get his team going in the biggest matches, and this, their biggest match of the year in terms of not being at home, being on the road inside the pyramid tonight. They just hosted Hawaii at their place in San Diego, and that's where Long Beach State and UC San Diego will do business tomorrow night. But for this Friday night matchup, it is a beach hosting, and the first serve is underway. Outside set to Lewis Richard, and he is able to put it away cross court. Lewis Richard getting his first kill of the night. Richard, the six. Three senior from Los Angeles. As Kyle Insing goes back to serve for the beach. One serving, zero. Insing sails one long. That's kind of the discussion as we go into the most important part of the season, really the playoffs, Ryan. And if Long Beach State sends so many serves out of bounds or in the net, it may be kind of going against what they want to do. And, th and that's a good point as Richard puts down the kill. With that said, Matt, I mean, you look at their average from the service line, 2.08 aces per set. So you take the aggressiveness with the fact that you are getting a bulk, a lion's share of aces. So is it worth the risk? Perhaps it is. Next serve from Lewis Richard is a good one, but on the right side, Colin Shannon goes line and answers. So Shannon, the right side hitter, the opposite for UC San Diego, 6'7 sophomore from Westwood. He's been stepping in. This is kind of a team that has lost a lot of seniors from last year, but of course they are led by Wyatt Hurston. We'll probably call his name a lot, but right now we don't need to as Logan Clark gets a stuffed block of Simone Anderson. So Clark, the 6'6 freshman from Chula Vista, middle blocker starting out of the M1 position. Gabe Avillon is the other middle blocker. They've kind of been rotating middle blockers and also setters. Right now the setter out there is Connor Walbrecht, but we might see 
late crisp out there as well. Ensign with the last kill, so it's all tied up at three. Simone Anderson. Jump spin serve over and in. Received well by Lou the Libero, but a set goes awry and over the arms of Logan Clark, the middle blocker, who was waiting for a quick hitter in the middle. He stayed middle, so one of those were the middle block is going to go to a spot and the center just has to find him. And Walbrecht just missed him by an inch. That's a connection if it was made, would have been a kill for UC San Diego, but now on the other side, Josh Tuaninga is able to take advantage of an overpass and put it away for a 5-3 to three lead for the Beach. Well, man, I think the struggles passing is sort of a microcosm of their season. What they've really done is struggle in that area. You look at multiple setters and the inability to get connections. Lou, their best passer, sends a good one to the net. Shannon is dug up on the other side, but the Beach, kind of a miscue and a bump set. Second center, they were out of system there, and it went over the net and out of bounds on UC San Diego side, so point Tritons, and it's four serving five. Shannon back to serve. Right-hander tosses it high. Good spin serve over and in, received by the beach, a little out of system. Outside to the Falco, over the double block. Dug up by UC San Diego. Outside to Xander Jimenez, dug up a diving save by Ensing, but the Falco Sends a bump set over to the right side. I think it was going for Josh Tuaninga, but ended up going over the net. It ended up an overpass opportunity, and the Tritons took advantage. Well, Matt, they got nothing to lose here. I mean, they're going to just give everything they have for Long Beach State. Look a little tentative out there and look a little bit tight. Bad pass from Richard this time outside to Ensign from the back row and he sends it into the net. Long Beach State not starting off well in this first set. It is now six serving five, UC San Diego. And Brian, a little bit of a hush in the Walter Pyramid. Which is a rarity. Yeah. Haven't lost a game or match here since 2016. Good serve from Shannon this time, but DeFalco able to counter down the line, dug up by Shannon. UC San Diego puts it over with two hands, so now it's Ensign on the other side. Six-pack cross-court of Shannon. I'd say six-pack, that's an old park saying. If you hit someone in the face, you would say that's a, give them a six-pack the next day. But you gotta credit Colin Shannon first for standing in to that hit from Ensing, but he had a great dig of DeFalco earlier on in that rally, and then now UC San Diego will challenge that last rally. I'm not sure, Brian, what exactly they're challenging. You have to specify what they're challenging in the new challenge system brought in during conference play at home for the beach this season. Video check providing the cameras. Some of the cameras probably going to be used at the net. I think maybe they're looking at a net violation. Those cameras can shoot at about 180 frames per second. And you can definitely see if there was a net violation or not, but I'm not sure if that's what exactly they're challenging. Is. Some of the discussion is about whether TJ hit the antenna. Ah. And so that's what they're talking about right now. Coach Alan Knipe says, wait a minute, I didn't see anything, but that is what the basis of the challenge is right now. And of course, TJ coming over to check things out. Yeah, so he went lining, cut back shot, a good one, and it was dug up by Shannon down the line a great dig it may be all for not but a point for UC San Diego anyway if the cameras show that TJ DeFalco hit the antenna instead it looks like the beach will go back to serve and it doesn't look like they made an actual decision that probably means there was no camera angle that was sufficient enough uh, what we're hearing now is the challenge system is not working. It's, ah, it's not plugged in, so they're having some difficulty right there. So, I mean, of course, there's so many cameras involved. You have to get it all uh, in the system. So, for now, that challenge goes back to head coach Kevin Ring. Wolves just 
make believe like it <laughs> never happened. Yes. Basically. And we have seen challenges actually been given back if the camera angle was not good enough to clearly make a judgment call on the play. And it's kind of the same thing here. You see San Diego with the last point. They are now up by one again, seven serving six. Xander Jimenez back to serve. Jimenez the 6'4", redshirt junior from San Jose. Spin serve goes out of bounds long. So, you see San Diego now with their first service error, and of course, I guess service errors for the Triton side would be magnified in a match like this. As DeFalco sends his first serve for an ace. So the service error from the Triton side turns into a service ace for Long Beach State. And DeFalco continues his run as the program leader in aces. Now with 165 in his career. Sends another good one that's popped up well by Lou the Libero. Into the middle to Logan Clark and he puts it wide. So Clark with his first hitting error. Hits 250 on the year, and now T.J. DeFalco sends one into the net. And DeFalco has had his share of service errors on the year as well. Yeah, he sure has. Coupled with the now 39 aces on the year. That's his 72nd service error on the air. That leads the team. Middle for a motto. He kind of whipped, but got enough of the ball with his fingertips to put it to the floor right in the middle of the San Diego defense. So Amato goes back to the service line with his first kill, Nick Amato. 6'6", six, six red shirt senior from Aliso Niguel. Jump floats it over the net and in received well by UC San Diego outside set for Wyatt Harrison and he sends it through the seam and down. Harrison making his first real noise of this game so far. He's a 6'4 sophomore, only a sophomore, mind you, from Kilauea, Hawaii, the Big Island. As the setter Walbrick sends his spin serve over and in, middle for TJ to Falco from the back row, and he crushes it down the middle. That pipe position right down the middle on the 10-foot line. DeFalco came up right behind his middle blocker in Simone Anderson. They call it the pick, the back row quick. And DeFalco executed to perfection. Another set that goes over the middle blocker in the Villion from Walbricht. So that falls to the floor. Beach point. You see San Diego a little out of sorts now that the beach are finding their rhythm. Yeah, the passing continues to be a problem. They're having a hard time finding guys on the outside in the perimeter. Pass tight to the net. Walbrick has to send a one-handed set toward his outside hitter. The rally goes on. It's UC San Diego again from the right side in Harrison this time, but he sends it long. So the beach up by four, the largest lead of the night so far, and Kevin Ring is forced to call his first timeout. We'll take a timeout too. You're listening to Long Beach State men's volleyball in 2015 to nine on UC San Diego. Kyle Ensing back to serve. Brian, after a little rocky start for the beach, now they're finding their rhythm and they've now gone on a 3-0 scoring run. They sure have, and Kyle Enzing has been strong, and Lewis Richard, two kills on two swings, so guys are getting more productive, hitting 417 now. Into the net, though, right as we were talking about how good <laughs> they were playing, into the timeout, coming out of the timeout, Enzing has a service error. 10 serving 13 as Harrison. Tosses it high, good spin serve over and in, received by DeFalco, one-handed set by Tuaninga, 
to the middle blocker in Anderson, and Anderson is able to get enough of it to put it down. So that play a little out of system was Long Beach State is a tight pass, but Tuaninga good enough to rise above the net. And he was a front row player, so he can do that and touch it with one hand to his middle blocker in Simone Anderson. And Anderson was able to get the kill. The rally goes on here outside to the Falco. And he goes cross court and down. Well, Madam, looking at these 10 kills for UC San Diego, only three assists for those 10 kills. And, and you look at the eight assists for 15 kills for Long Beach State. So again, you look at storylines, you look at stats, and the lack of assists pre presenting a problem. Richard, good serve over and in as the rally goes on. It was blocked back. UC San Diego with another opportunity. Now it's popped up by Ensing. Richard sends it across, dug up by UC San Diego. Outside set, and it goes to the net and down from Lou to Jimenez. Zach Liu, the, or I should say Ryan Liu, the libero for the Tritons, had to step in as the second setter there and sent that set a little too tight to the net. And it was Beach Point. 16 serving 10 as Richard sends another good serve over and in. Roll shot popped up by Ensing outside for DeFalco. Blocked back, another opportunity for the Beach. Oh, to Aninga swings on two and gets the kill. Didn't see that one coming, Brian. <laughs> if you're a defense and you have to now think about that, how much <laughs> harder is it for you? Pretty hard, hard enough for UC San Diego to talk about it in this timeout. We'll take a timeout at Beach State. Up 17 to 10, Lewis Richard. Tossing it high and serving it into the net. Second time in the two timeouts called by UC San Diego that Long Beach State sends their serve out of the timeout into the net. Now we've seen a motto hit the top of the cable and then they drop on the other side. Richard not so fortunate on that chart. So UC San Diego brings in a new server in Bryce Curtis. Curtis the 6'5 sophomore from San Clemente. Spin serves it over the net. Almost gets an eighth diving save from Ensing. They bump it over. A free ball opportunity, though, for the Tritons. Right side set for Shannon. That's dug up by Ensing. Into the middle for Anderson. Dug up by UC San Diego. Outside for Jimenez. Dug up by Ensing again. And Tuaninga dumps it on two. So Tuaninga, second time in the last three points, gets a point himself. I think that's a big portion of the storyline for this first frame is that Tuniga is doing it offensively now and this is nothing new. We've seen that and Coach Allen Knipe has really motivated him to become more offensively inclined. Carlos Rivera comes in to serve for the beach. He jump serves it out of bounds. And UC San Diego closes to back within six. I mean, we look at the stats. Matt Tuniga leads the team in kills. Three kills on three airless swings so far. You don't see that often. Tuninga leading a team with so many offensive weapons. Of course, we're just getting started here in the Walter Perrin first set. Each up by six as... UC San Diego keeps it in play for the moment. It was dug up. I thought initially. that hit on this side was outside the antenna, but I could be mistaken. That can, yeah, that's true. If it was crossing the net outside of the antenna, would have been out of called out of bounds, but they left it in play anyway. It didn't matter since it didn't go over the net, but. Long Beach State nonetheless up by seven, 19 serving 12 to Aninga. Southpaw swings it over the net and in, received well by UC San Diego. Blocked in a triple block of the Tritons. Now a double block put down a roof for the beach. By the way, the Tritons brought in a couple of substitutions. New setter, Blake Crisp. He kind of half and halfs it with Connor Walbrecht. And then 
Mashone Gilruth is in the opposite. New right side hitter. Right now has to hit from the left side. Maybe why he sent his last attack out, uh, out of bounds long. So Gilruth, the 6'5 redshirt fresh freshman from Nairobi, Kenya. And Crisp, the 6'3 freshman from Westlake Village. Crisp sets it right side, a good one to Jimenez. It's blocked back by DeFalco. UC San Diego has to send it over a free ball opportunity for the beach. Richard from the back row, dug up by Lou. Outside set for Gilruth, and it's a double contact violation called on Chris. So the beach get that point, but a good rally on either side. Beach now up by 10, 22 serving 12. Not quite a 6-2 a rotation or system for UC San Diego as they just switch out here. Walbrecht comes back into the front row. And Colin Shannon is back in the back row as the opposite. Tuaninga sends another good serve over and in. Received well by UC San Diego. Right side, back row set for Shannon. And he gets it through the beach, double blocking down. So 13 serving 22, UC San Diego like to have a run right now. Xander Jimenez back to serve. Wyatt Harrison has rotated back into the front row for the Tritons. Good serve over and in, received well by the beach. Outside set for Ensing off the double block. Picked up by UC San Diego, put over on two. A good swing, a good try from their setter and Walbrecht trying to catch the beach off guard, but he sent it wide and out of bounds. So 23 serving 13, DeFalco back to serve. Twenty seventeen National Player of the Year sends a good serve over the net. Out of system are the Tritons. And now Long Beach State gets an attack out of it with Lewis Richard sending it off the double block and out of bounds. Kill for Richard and the beach. And now it's set point. Twenty four serving thirteen. DeFalco tosses it high, serves it into the net. And you know, TJ DeFalco was trying to get a little extra on that last serve. Wanted to end the set right there. 14 serving 24. Logan Clark jump floats it short over the net and in received well by the beach. Middle to Nick Amato, and that will do it for set number one. Long Beach State takes it, 25-14. They are up in this match, one set to none. We head to the second set. In attacking, so to speak, uh, leading the beach tonight so far. For UC San Diego, it's Colin Shannon. Uh, three kills on seven airless swings. We haven't seen Wyatt Harrison get going yet. And that was kind of the, what happened last year when UC San Diego came into the Walter Pyramid. Last year, Harrison only played uh, two sets, I believe it was due to injury, and got only one kill in that match. Well, Harrison is coming off a match against Hawaii on the 30th of March. Hit 367, 14 kills, had three aces, and Josh Tuniga with the offering here to get us going in the second frame. And that one had a lot of brawn and not a lot of accuracy. You don't see that too often from Tuaninga. He is one of the le most efficient servers from the baseline for the beach. So here comes Connor Walbrook. Seven aces, 27 service errors on his campaign. Molina, the first contact. They go to DeFalco, second on the team and kills. He's not able to get that one to go down. Jimenez flying out of the back row. Enzing takes the shot into area six. Jimenez getting there a bit tardy. And we're all knotted up at one. 
These teams will play in San Diego tomorrow at the Remac Arena, home of UC San Diego. It's a team that's really struggled. Only one win in March, one and six, seven and 15 overall, 0 oh and six in Big West play. Jimenez plays the role of center. And that is Harrison who is hitting in negative numbers right now. DeFalco, look out, got a touch. And records his third kill on now seven tries as he makes his way back to the service line. So the 49ers are hitting 519 as a team throughout this match. You see San Diego flatlining it. Five kills, five attacking errors on 24 swings. DeFalco testing the line. And he's not afraid to take a risk. And for the senior, very close. That is his second service ace. But he's had a couple of those as well. And that is actually the eighth hiccup from the service line for Long Beach State in this match. You see San Diego with only one. And here's George, excuse me, I want to say George Harrison. That's not quite the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wyatt Harrison, there is Richard unloading from the outside. Harrison, the second contact. Jimenez loses the battle at the net. It's that fierce front line for Long Beach State having the final say on that rally. And the beach go up 4-2. Nick Amato was named Big West Conference Defensive Player of the Week on March 18th after back-to-back -back wins against UC Santa Barbara. Was so great at the net. And a Shannon driving one and got a touch. Colin Shannon with his fourth kill. And Logan Clark hustles back into the front line with Ryan Liu exiting. Interesting to note about Colin Shannon, Big West Player of the Week. Last week in February, had a season I 21 kills against UC Irvine. DeFalco plays the role of a setter. Enzing charges the net and fires it in the cross court. The senior from Valencia will make his way back to the service line. Long Beach State leading all teams in Division One with point, excuse me, 2.08 service aces per set. Jimenez reaches after it. Shannon is able to work it off the block of Richard and Anderson. Anderson is actually second on the beach in solo stuffs with seven. DeFalco has eight to lead Long Beach State in this season. So here's Shannon. Hitting 217 on the year. And Anderson unable to keep that one in play. Colin Shannon, his grandmother, Matt, Miss America in 1952. Mm. Fun fact. Comes from a litany of athletes in his family as that one is tailed long. His uncle Kiki Vandaway, basketball player at UCLA, two-time NBA All-Star. Lewis Richard comes from a basketball family himself as he lets one go from the line and spanks it long. And that is nine service errors, Matt. Is, is that number a little bit worrisome to you well for some you would look at the stat sheet and you'd say that's what's keeping uc san diego in it right now since we're tied at six and they've only had two service errors and to their credit they're keeping the ball in play jimenez the serve hits the top of the cable tuniga looks anderson's way and shannon misplays it and simone anderson registers the kill on the front line and the beach Retake the lead, seven serving six. They won set one, 25-14. Long Beach State has not lost at home here since 2016. 
Anderson slaps it across. Walbrook collides with Logan Clark. And then Shannon is able to wedge one through the block and down. So Colin Shannon hitting 600. The team, though, is hitting .071. Tuniga gap set right to Amato and thrusts it down. Amato was also named Big West Conference Defensive Player of the Week on March 4th. DeFalco was a Conference Defensive Player of the Week winner in January. So many awards on this Long Beach State team. Of course, they will take on the number one team in the nation, Hawaii, next weekend. Taniga out from the service line. And Connor Walbrook, the setter, the junior, six foot four, is back at the line. Triton's serving to the beach. And his stint at the line is short lived. With an errant serve, the third service air for the Tritons. Well, they started out this season with losses to Pepperdine and UCLA. Then they got their first win against Sacred Heart. They've got wins against Harvard and Concordia, UC Santa Cruz. They lost a five-setter to UC Irvine. Walbrook, one ball, and that one going for a kill. Gabe Avillian with a heavy arm swing. And the Tritons have pulled even at nine. Harrison leads his team in aces, and as I say that, he pelts one right into the net. Has 16 aces on the year, and that is his 59th service air. Second on his team in service blunders. And a look at Nick Amato, the senior. Let's it fly. Jimenez receives it. Outside to Shannon. He can't get it down. Pass goes to Enzing on the attack. Walbrook, tight set into the middle, will be re received, and it's Richard. Fighting one through the block. Four kills for Lewis Richard on seven swings. Nick Amato continues his run at the service line. Beach 11, Tritons 9. Alongside Matt Brown, I am Brian Fenley, and Gabe Avillian with a sledgehammer in the middle. It keeps his team within one. Logan Clark coming back into the front row. And Avillian will now look to slap it across. Two kills on four tries. He's hitting 500. Serves it, Richard. Tuniga goes to Anderson. And acting quickly before the block was formed. And Anderson coming away with what is now his fourth kill. He's sitting north of 300. And Long Beach State in this set, Matt, hitting 700. But they only lead by two. Enzing serves at Harrison. Outside to Jimenez. Anderson got the gist of it, guarding the pin with Tuniga right by him. We had mentioned the blocking prowess of Anderson, second on the team coming into tonight in solo stuffs on the year with seven. DeFalco has eight. Enzing records the ace. This is a bit of a reflection of set number one. Once these teams hit double digits, that's when Long Beach State started to pull away. That's what they're doing right here on a 3-0 scoring run. Enzing rockets on the serve. The overdig and Anderson right there. First at the point of attack to take care of it. Dispose of it 15-10. Long Beach State on a 4-0 scoring run. They lead, have their largest lead of the second. Four kills, Lewis, Richard, Kyle, Enzing, Simone, Anderson, 
And Nick Amato in Ensign is back at the service line. Coming out of the timeout, four kills, one attacking air, seven tries, hitting 429. Walbrook the set right to Logan Clark. And that one will be misplayed on the Long Beach State side. So the Tritons end of 4-0 scoring spurts and take Enzing off the service line with Colin Shannon. Six kills. No Triton has more than two in this game. Anderson acting quickly finds a big hole in the block. He's got five kills on eight tries. You think about Tuniga with the assist there has over 4,000 in his career. You start to think about the future, Tuniga senior. So many of these guys are, a sen are seniors, like Lewis Richard, who got stopped up by the net. But what this team is going to look like next year without a Tuniga, without a, a Lewis Richard, without a TJ DeFalco. Well, that's what they talk about uh, a lot over the year. Uh, on Monday, the practices are always for the second and third teamers. So Josh Tuniga is one of the louder mentors on the team and he definitely has the utmost confidence in Carlos Rivera and Gary Trejo to pick up the slack uh, when he graduates and going into next year. Ethan Siegfried will come on. He is a serving guru, has 11 aces on his campaign, a native of Hawaii. Beach 17, Tritons 12. Long Beach State's largest lead of the second frame, and he gives one right back to the Tritons. With Bryce Curtis checking back in, and Logan Clark will exit. Simone Anderson back into the front row. Siegfried takes a seat. Jordan Molina back in. Another senior for Long Beach State. Averages 1.88 digs per set. And here is Curtis. Richard receives. On the attack is Enzing going down the line. Kept alive as Jimenez puts it over on three. Tuniga looks Enzing's way. And that time, a better result. A kill in his fifth. Credit Bryce Curtis, though, on that last rally. I mean, he got his seventh dig on the year. Doesn't play the back row all that much. He only comes in to serve. He's able to get a big dig. Didn't get the second one. Well, that's a positive, positive thing for him going back to the bench. No question about it, Tuniga thunders the serve. Walbrick, quick set right to Avilion, and that one veers out. So a point surrendered to Long Beach State. And the service run continues for the senior in Tuniga. Had 46 assists in the national championship match against UCLA last year. And unfortunate there with a blunder from the service line. That is 14 service errors for Long Beach State. Honor Walbrook. 10 assists. He and Blake Crisp share center duties. Amato with the slam down. Credit the helper to Tuniga. That is his 19th assist. And Vlad Pesic is in for the first time. With Gabe Avilion exiting, a native of Pennsylvania. And TJ DeFalco averaging 5.54 aces per set. We'll look to slap it across. 39 aces on his season. All-time ace leader in the program. And as I reward him with praise, <laughs> he serves one right into the net. It's been happening to us <laughs> yeah. way too often this <laughs> yes. season, Brian. It sure has. Wyatt Harrison. We talked about him, Matt, a guy who could be a big part of the Tritons offense. Right now, he's serving, hit it, hitting in a negative numbers, and that's a point on the beach side. And so it's been a tough go of it for Wyatt Harrison. One kill, five attacks, two 
hitting airs. Yeah, you think about other stars that the beach have kind of keyed in on defensively, and they've been able to stop guys like Jalen Jasper, Michael Fisher, some of the better outside hitters in the country. White Harrison's just another one. He lets a serve go past him for an ace. Shane Holdaway. Don't see him out on the floor very often, making the most of his presence. And so Harrison is going to leave the match. And new faces out there, Leon Scheifer, number 18. All the way again, the serve. Albrook backside to Shannon. And he wins that tussle at the net. A battle one-on-one -on -one against Richard. One-on-one -on -one matchup playing in the favor of Shannon. He's been the only bright spot offensively for the Tritons tonight. Seven kills. No player on their team has more than two. Anderson stood up in the middle. Logan Clark denying access. And the Tritons hanging in there down by only five. 17 serving 22. Serve from Pesic. They look to the outside and Richard gets stymied. Colin Shannon making his presence felt. And a loud roar coming from the Tritons sideline. Within four now. Message floats it over, received by Richard. A give and go to Richard, and that one is turned back. Tuniga back to Richard and can't keep it in play. There was no touch. And a bit of a scoring run here, Matt. A timeout call. We will step aside as well. Triton You see San Diego on a 4-0 run. They trail 22-19. Tip shot for Enzing. Finds a vulnerable spot in the defense as Petchic got there after the fact and he leaves the match with Ryan Liu checking back in. Product of San Marino High School, the 5'11 junior at the libero spot. Enzing throttles the serve. Disarray on the Triton side and Logan Clark knocks it over. Good get by Jimenez. Shannon knocks it again over. Enzing on the swing. And the Tritons went into the nets, I believe, on that rally, which takes us to set point. You see San Diego head coach Kevin Ring will take a timeout. We'll take a timeout as well. Back after this from Walter Pyramid with a 2-0 run. It's 24 serving 19. Set point, Kyle Enzing at the line. Seven kills, leads his team in kills. Walbrook finds Shannon. Tuniga goes to DeFalco, trying to go wrist away, and he botches the attack. So he gives one right back to the Tritons, and Colin Shannon. Seven kills, 12 attacks, hitting 538, has one service ace. Will lean into this one from the service line. Gets a good one off, received by Richard. Jimenez, the first contact off the rebound. Logan Clark throttles it down. And you see San Diego pulls within three. They dropped set one, 25-14. DeFalco misplays it, and that's an ace, the second one for Colin Shannon. So don't count the Tritons out just yet. A timeout going to be authored up by Long Beach State. We'll also step aside here from Alter Pyramid, 24-20. Set point, Tritons have fought off three set points and are within two. Can they continue to stay afloat in this second set? 
Colin Shannon from the line. Smokes the serve. DeFalco receives. Outside to Enzing. Finds a big seam in the block and puts his final say on the rally. And second set winners are the beach. 25-22. They'll look for the sweep next from Walter Pyramid. Alongside with you for the third set. This best of five matchup between Long Beach State and UC San Diego. The Beach up two sets to none, winning the first set 25-14 and the second set 25-22. And Brian, UC San Diego made a really good run of it at the end of the second set. Maybe we'll see more of that here in the third. Yeah, they fought off three set points. They made it interesting. They forced Alan Knipe to take a timeout. So, you know, it something to hang their hat on, even though they didn't come out with the second set win. One thing is that they were able to bring their side out percentage up to 63% from 45 in the first set. DeFalco coming out of the back row to wrist away and down. Let's put the beach up one serving zero. Cal Insing goes back to the service line. Leading the beach, eight kills on 12 swings, one error, hitting 583. Good serve there. Passage is blocked in the roof. By the way, new starter for this third set is Shane Holdaway, and he gets the solo block. Hold away his first block solo on the year. 2-0 and Ensing serves it into the net. Ryan, this is what we were talking about a little earlier. I think this is a great opportunity for the freshman 6-8 from Huntington Beach to get some playing time against a Big West opponent here. Uh, yeah, this is not preseason. This is no. conference play. And to get the youth involved like this and... and Certainly in a situation where you're up two sets to none it is a great opportunity to do that. And he's still supported by the rest of the senior laden starting lineup as Richard sends his serve out of bounds long. So it's back to back service errors. It's two serving three. Passage sends his boat serve over the net and in received well by the beach. In the middle is hauled away, and he sends it down. He's making the most of his opportunity, Matt Brown. And now we'll see him at the service line. We've already seen him once there this evening. So a hold away, like many of the other younger guys on this squad, just loves to get in the match and get an opportunity to showcase in front of the pyramid crowd. Rally goes on, Holdaway has to be the second setter. High bump set to the outside hitter and DeFalco, and DeFalco gets it down. That's Holdaway's first assist on the season. So he's getting all kinds of numbers here. Five serving two. Holdway tosses it high, good spin serve. That is just out of bounds wide. They're gonna challenge it, Brian, and it might be a good one. Gonna have a good down the line view of it for those watching on the video stream. The challenge system is up here in the third set. Might have a good look at it here, and I think it was close enough for Coach Allen Knight to put the green challenge card up. Yeah, if you're not, if you weren't with us earlier, they, the Tritons were asking for a challenge in the first set, and the system wasn't plugged in, as what we're hearing. So, you know, it's hard to to figure out what you're doing as far as figuring out what happened. So they had to give the challenge back to the Tritons, and now the system is working, and Long Beach State is trying to see if this one was in fact in. This also works as a glorified timeout for Coach Knife as he went straight to a huddle with his squad uh, after he held up the challenge card. It was almost immediate that he wanted to challenge it and he might have had a great look at it as the call has been reversed. 
give Shane Holdaway another service ace. So now it's six serving to Holdaway with now, I should say, four service aces on the year. His second of the night sends another one over and in. Now a roof from Amato and DeFalco. DeFalco got most of it. Long Beach State now up early on in this third set. Seven serving two. All the way, high toss, good spin serve that sent long. Didn't have enough top spin on it to drop it onto the end line. And Holdaway will come out to a little ovation. Here's the Pyramid Faithful. Appreciate his efforts to start the third set. And the Shannon serve is received well by the beach. Ensing on the right side gets blocked a little bit. UC San Diego able to pop it up and attack from the other side with Jimenez going cross court off the block and out of bounds. So Xander Jimenez with his second kill of the night on 11 swings has struggled a little bit hitting triple zeros as DeFalco goes off the San Diego block is popped up and hit into the double block of the beach and down. The Tritons just seem to be a little out of system. Uh, the passing has now gone awry to start this third set. Part of it, I think, Long Beach State going away from a good passer in the liberos, uh, in the good passer in Ryan Liu, the libero. As Kyle Ensing goes off the double block of UC San Diego. Shannon goes cross court, it's Patty kicked around. At the net is the Falco and he puts it away. TJ DeFalco with a quiet seven kills tonight. I don't think we've said his name enough for how many kills he's been able to get. Josh Tuninga swings it over and in. Received well by the Tritons. Outside set for Jimenez. Double block back. And Albrecht able to put it down. Connor Walbrecht was able to take advantage of just a pop-up dig covering the block. And he turned and swung it over to through the seam, really, where the Long Beach State defense was lined up. Now it's five serving nine. Jimenez, good serve. See by the beach, right side for DeFalco, and he goes through the seam and down. So TJ DeFalco now with eight kills. He's found his rhythm. Tied for the most on the night with Kyle Ensing. Both eight kills for 14 swings, hitting 500. As DeFalco tosses it high, sends his serve off the top of the tape, picked up by Harrison. Right side reversal set by Waldrick, dug up by DeFalco of Shannon. So now Richard rolls, shots it over, picked up by Shannon, outside set for Harrison, and he goes off the block and out of bounds. So Wyatt Harrison, with only one kill before that one, maybe now he gets into his swing of things. Definitely would like to see Wyatt Harrison get things going. Now he's been hitting in negative numbers for pretty much this whole match, and now he's back to at least zero. Float serve over and in from UC San Diego. Now it's Richard into the block, block, back and down. Credit the block to Connor Walbrecht. UC San Diego now closing to within three, seven serving ten. Logan Clark, their middle blocker, is back to serve. Clark sends a float serve out of bounds wide. And boy, trying to make a run in this third set. You can't have 
serves, especially a float serve, go out of bounds. Well, a float serve against Long Beach State is usually a recipe for you giving up a point. You might as well just give them the point almost. Speaking of float servers, it's Nick Amato back at the service line for the beach, and he sends his float serve over and in, received well by UC San Diego. Wyatt Harrison saying he got a touch on that hit. It was called out of bounds, and I think Kevin Ring will hold up the green challenge card in India, and he does. So timeout for the moment as UC San Diego challenges that last hit out of bounds from Wyatt Harrison who right away thought he had a touch on the beach double block. That gives us a chance, uh, Brian, to talk about this Big West Conference tournament that will be upcoming. I know Long Beach State has one more big opponent to host at home, and that's next weekend in Hawaii. And earlier on in the season, I think Long Beach State would have been seen to be the favorites in that t conference tournament. But now, Hawaii being number one, I mean, what do you think, Brian, going into it? Well, they're also hosting, too, which yep. is also a big advantage. And, yeah, I mean, you're going to have two shots at Hawaii next Friday, next Saturday. They have not lost a set all year. An NCAA record as... Tuning is sets the right side and Ensing coming out of the challenge. By the way, it was reversed. You see San Diego got that point. So it was eight serving 11, but Long Beach State able to get their 12th point again. And Ensing leading the beach in kills goes back to serve. Already with a service ace on the night as well. Good serve. Received well by Ryan Liu of the Triton. And they go to the middle. And Vlad Pesic. And Pesic gets his first kill of the night. Pesic started the match against Hawaii. The first match that they played last weekend. Didn't see the court on the Saturday match. Now comes in in relief and starts this third set and I think Passage is looking to find his rhythm as that last rally is going to be challenged by Long Beach State. It's another challenge and Brian I think it now gives us an opportunity to talk about Long Beach State moving forward. I mean, you've seen Shane Holdaway We've seen Carlos Rivera and Ethan Siegfried all year just from the service line. But next weekend will be senior night. And this entire starting lineup is filled with seniors other than Simone Anderson. And that's about it. Amato, Molina, Tuaninga, Ensing, Richard, DeFalco, all seniors. And they will all be recognized next weekend. I think it'll be a very different look for this Long Beach State team next season. It will. And the good thing is Simone Anderson is a key cog to Long Beach State. And he'll now be treated as a leader on this team. And having all of his experience is going to be critical. He is the guy coming back. Lewis Richard goes back to serve. It's 13 serving nine. Long Beach State won that challenge. Outside set for Jimenez off the double lock. Picked up by DeFalco and DeFalco gets it back. Roll shot and down. That's Long Beach State's MO. It doesn't matter if the outside hitter, in this case DeFalco, has to run and get the ball at the net, they're still going to work as fast as they can. It was still a quick shoot set from Tuaning. As Lewis Richard jumps it up, almost an ace as UC San Diego is out of system. Shannon has to kind of roll it over, and now DeFalco on the other side sends it long. So it's 10 serving 14. Pesic goes back to serve for the Tritons, and he will be replaced now. New server, and we've seen him already tonight in Bryce Curtis. Curtis. 
Curtis jump serves it over the net and in over pass and Jimenez able to take advantage of it put it down so Xander Jimenez now with his third kill of the night Fifteen swings, he's hitting triple zeros as the Beach received the next serve. Well, a combo play to TJ DeFalco. They go back up by four. So DeFalco came in, for those listening on radio, came in a little more inside from the pin. How's the setup play? Didn't see the middle blocker there. It seemed to be a back one and then a what would be a tandem or a gap set to DeFalco. As Ensign serve goes into the net. Now it's 12 serving 15. Colin Shannon, probably the best offensive player for UC San Diego tonight. Back to serve, puts it over the net and in, received well by the beach. Right side, back row set for Ensing. Roll shots it down. So Ensing now with 10 kills, and Ethan Siegfried comes in for Lewis Richard, a straight up substitution. He's not coming in to serve this time, Siegfried is. As he will be in the back row and probably rotate to the front as the outside hitter for Long Beach State. Josh Tuaninga swings it over the net and in. Played well by UC San Diego. Outside set for Jimenez. Off the shoulder of Tuaninga and flying out of bounds. Good line shot from Xander Jimenez. Also a good set from Connor Walbrecht. Went all the way across the court. Kind of reversal set in a way. Jimenez goes back to serve, sends it out of bounds wide. So now DeFalco goes back to serve, and Brian, we're going to get a chance to see Ethan Siegfried up at the front row. We've seen him already this year as well, uh, replacing Lewis Richard, but this is going to be a real good chance for him. Uh, with the lead at kind of a comfortable situation instead of a pressure situation. He is super athletic, Matt. You see a little bit of athleticism here from the Long Beach State squad just scrambling to get that ball up and over the net as DeFalco now another diving dig. Ensign from the right side sends it cross court and down. DeFalco celebrating from his efforts. He and Jordan Molina we're really working hard there in the back row. Now Long Beach State goes up 18, serving 13. And after all of those diving plays made, a break in the action is the floor has to be wiped up. By the way, for those who are just joining us for the first time in a Walter Pyramid setting on the video stream you see the TerraFlex floor that was installed at the start of conference play this year. Long Beach State are part of their efforts to be called Volleyball U in the United States. Free ball opportunity now for them. Outside set for Ethan Seyfried and he goes cross court and down. First kill of the night for Seyfried and like you said really just bouncing up like he's on a pogo stick there. Timeout called by Kevin Ring and UC San Diego. We'll take a timeout as well. You're listening to State up 19 to 13 here in the third set. They're already up two sets to one in this best of five matches. TJ DeFalco sends one off the top of the tape. It's received well by UC San Diego and Ryan Liu, their little barrel. Dig from Jordan Molina on the other side. Gives an opportunity for Nick Amato that's dug up by Liu again. Now a Jimenez back row attack is dug up by DeFalco. Siegfried roll shots, a good opportunity for UC San Diego. They just tip it over. Picked up by Tuaning, a second setter in DeFalco to Ensing. He's dug up. Outside set for Wyatt Harrison and he's roof. 
good rally, maybe the best of the night there, Brian. Yeah, the composure was there, Long Beach State, they were in it, they were engaged, and they're closing in on a sweep. Yeah, they're first to reach 20 here in the third set, it's 20 serving 13. DeFalco on a 4-0 service run. High toss, good serve, but it's just long. Now th that's one of those service errors that you're okay with if you're a coach snipe. It's one of those that could be received by the other team if they didn't think it's gonna go out of bounds. It didn't miss by much. And it was missed long instead of wide. New server into the game in Berkeley Neesfield. Doesn't matter to the beach, they get another kill out of it and now Carlos Rivera will come in to serve. Another good middle attack from Nick Amato. Six kills on nine airless swings. He had a similar situation against UC Irvine in the second match in the back-to-back -back Friday, Saturday set between the Anteaters and the Beach, the black and blue rivalry. As Harrison sends it cross court, dug up by Rivera, sent over by Siegfried, a good opportunity for the Tritons though. Right side for Shannon, picked up and patty kicked over by the Beach. Still an opportunity for the Tritons and Harrison sends it long and out of bounds. Well, there was a time there in that last rally where I thought at least Long Beach State would let it fall to the floor. It was hitting the net multiple times. I thought it would at least be four touches before they would get it over the net there. As a substitution comes in for UC San Diego and it's Lior Schiffer as Long Beach State sends their serve from Carlos Rivera out of bounds wide. Fifteen serving twenty-two. Walbrecht back to serve for the Tritons. For most of the night tonight, it's been Walbrecht the setter. Haven't seen too much of Blake Crisp, who would come in to set for him in some cases, but. Tonight it's all Walbrick. Crisp actually started the night in the first match against the University of Hawaii last weekend. And this team is so young, we could see a, another look from them next year as players develop. Now the Tritons will go back to serve off of their 16th point. This third set, 16 serving 23. It's Schaeffer. Spin serve over the net and in, received well by Siegfried. Outside set to Siegfried, and he puts it down through the seam. So Ethan Siegfried. With his second kill of the night, will go back to serve. Something that he's done all season long. Except this time it is match point. 24 serving 16. Just over the net. Received well by UC San Diego. Off the double block goes Jimenez. Picked up by Siegfried in the back row. Outside set to DeFalco. Off the double block. Good one-handed stab by Schaeffer. And it's into the double block for Jimenez. And a kill as it goes out of bounds. Excellent play in the back row by Lior Schaeffer. And UC San Diego now closes to within seven. It's 17 serving 24. Float serve from Kessage. Goes to Seifer. Received well by the beach. Hauled away in the middle. He ends it. 25-17 Long Beach State sweeps UC San Diego. And 
Brian Shane Holdaway ending the match is kind of what Long Beach State would like to see uh, going into next season, yeah. that's for sure. A sign of things to come. Yeah. So there, as we talked about, a lot of question marks about where guys are going to be next year as far as who's going to fill the roles. you got to feel great about what he did tonight and certainly other guys too. 25-14, 25-22, 25-17. Long Beach State takes care of UC San Diego. Three sets to none. Player of the match, you got to give it to Kyle Ensing. It's 11 kills on 18 swings. One hitting error, hitting 556 on the match. Long Beach State hit 450 as a team the entire match. UC San Diego only hit 127. They were led by Colin Shannon, and Brian Shannon was really the, the main bright spot for this squad. Yeah, nobody besides Pestich hit and Shannon hit over 200. So you know, Shannon was was special. Wyatt Harrison was not, and he would be the first to tell you that. Three kills, 13 attacks, negative numbers. Beach did a great job of bottling him up. That's something to look out for as Long Beach State will head into their most important part of the regular season, meeting up with number one, Hawaii. And that's next week in April 12th and 13th. The first night will be streamed, at least video-wise, on ESPN3. I'll be there as a sideline reporter alongside Sam Farber and Dane Blanton. You can catch it on radio for those listening on radio with Brian Fenley exclusively on 22westmedia.com. And Brian, boy, am I excited to be covering... Long Beach State and Hawaii number one versus number two here inside the pyramid next week. It's going to be a great uh, barometer for uh, both teams and you know maybe the, whoever wins out those two matches is going to maybe be the national champion. I mean certainly make a big, good case for it. Yeah it's definitely a preview of not only the Big West tournament but the national tournament as well. At least that's what we think will happen and I, I honestly think it's almost unpredictable at this point on who's going to win those two matches. Again, it's a back-to-back, -back, so whoever wins the first match definitely can't sit easy going into the second because adjustments will be made. And we'll see who even will be playing for either side as they're so evenly matched. We might see so many different faces come in to try to mix things up. and. I, I don't know. We'll see what will happen. It's going to be something that definitely neither side has been tested uh, to this point in terms of I don't know, being matched up at each position. I think Hawaii definitely matches up with Long Beach State and vice versa well at each position of the game. So that will be next weekend. You can catch the first night on 22westmedia.com. And then the second night on Saturday will be just like tonight and just like usual. Back to the video and radio stream simulcast with yours truly and Brian Fenley on Saturday night. But until then, have a good rest of your weekend. Long Beach State and UC San Diego will do it all again in San Diego tomorrow night. You can catch it on UC San Diego's website at 7 p.m. And until next weekend, I'm Matt Brown, and that's Brian Fenley. And for our great crew at Beach Vision and 22 West Radio, 